Good everyone, welcome to this video, and today we have a double dose of subscriber requests by a guy named Troll Gaming. I really don't get why people still use the troll face anymore, because that, that, that is so 2012. <laughs> and that's coming from me. And today he's requested um, two aircraft, which they're both not competitive. One of them is today's, well... The first of today's, and that is the SB2M. However, he didn't specify what model, so I'm going the easy way out and go with the 100. And he also requested the Mosquito. Again, did not specify. However, I am not using the Chinese one, that's for definite. So I'm going to be using the FB Mark VI for that one. So, veterans of War Thunder who watch me, do you remember the days when you used to see SB2Ms turning like zeros? Because I certainly do. That, 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 that was a fun time, especially in arcade, because you'd see SB2M's dogfighting trying to get the forward turret on the, each other. It was a lot of fun. I, I miss those days. But unfortunately, people cried wolf, and unfortunately, this thing got hit massively with a nerf bat, which it really didn't need to. This thing was not overpowered in the slightest. It wasn't the fastest thing, so you could actually outrun it, unless you wasn't in anything like a biplane. And being a bomber, it's still rather large and easy to hit, so I I was kind of sad when these things got nerfed, but all good things must come to an end, I suppose. So we're choosing the 100 because it's the easiest one to fly and the less one that induces grey hairs. This aircraft is a 1.7, so we will see some dangerous aircraft if we get updated, which will probably happen. And most importantly... I don't have to fly the 105, so that's always a benefit. But even so, if you are going to make a request of a vehicle where um, where there's a lot of variants of it in War Thunder, please do be specific. I, 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 like, I don't mind choosing them, but at the same time, it's your choice. Like, you're the subscriber, you're, you're the requestee, shall we say. Right, less of my blabbering, let's get into it. So, just wish it had me light there, because I, I don't know why I add it on, to be honest, but to be honest, this is an aircraft that I would not fly anymore. This is the kind of plane, and by the way, the skin, um, that is a Spanish nationalist skin, I believe. Um, Russia gave them a load of SBs and stuff like that, and then obviously Germany supplied. Was it the... I, I don't remember the Spanish Civil War that well. But it's not a bad plane by any stretch of the imagination. It's just, it gets its head kicked in massively in an up tier. But anyway, I'll see you all in the first game. And in typical fashion, five, well, about 20 seconds after I said, see you all in the first game, we get our first game. This just proves I need to keep waffling. Right, so this map isn't really great for an SB, but yeah, we can make it work. That's for definite. I, I really don't get why people, like, still fly the SBs. Like, there was one guy that I saw that had, like, a thousand games in one of these things. Not this one. I think it was the 103 he'd been flying. I, I don't get that. Like, in my personal opinion, I would get bored of an aircraft, not gunfire. Everyone likes a good bit of gunfire. But I would get bored of the same plane after a couple of hundred... Anyway, let's have a look at what we've got. So we are up to slightly to 2-0 because of Zukovskis. There's a guy named Ayrton Senna. I, I like that. That is referencing that. If you don't know who he is, he's a Formula 1 driver who was killed in a pretty harsh accident. Right. I don't know where to really go on this map. I don't tend to play this map. I, if I was to, I'd go for a base bombing. But I think we're going to go for that tank convoy to the right and just drop our bomb on it and hope for the best. Although, those enemy bombers do look a bit juicy. But yeah, honestly, Russia, I feel sorry for the poor bastard who has to sit there on that tail gunner position. Because, I'm sorry, but it, he's exposed to the elements and we're doing 220 miles an hour. Fairly certain there's going to be a chill in his neck. Alright, what we got? A Stuka, got something else, and we got look, what looks to be a Condor. Yeah, we're in a 2-3 game, so... We're not 
fully updated, but we're still updated to the point where we can still have fun with a condor, so that's always nice. But yeah, this this was one of the first bombers that I actually flew, and obviously that was back when this thing was not nerfed, and it was so fun. This thing was so fun. Okay then, let's go and say hello to Mr. Condor. That, that that thing is just a flying gas can, as Harry Feet would say. So, it should be an easy pickings for Ivan. Alright then, Ivan. You know what to do, buddy. Stubborn little bastard, isn't he? My gun is just jammed. Is he... Is he turning to get on my arse? That's hilarious. I'll stick the nose up, because we've got the airspeed to do it. I will try and get the lower gunner on him. And there's a big fat tail dead zone. You can tell I don't fly SPs. Come on. Come on. No? Oh, you're a stubborn little shit today, aren't you? Nope, normally condors burn at the second you look at them funny, but not today. This this guy doesn't want to die. Stop a little shit. And here comes the lock on. That's even with a bomb on board. If you think half a ton of bomb on board this thing is going to make a big difference, it ain't. And here comes the CW2OP. Please nerf. Because he's climbed all the way up. And he's managed to get to a bomber altitude in less than four minutes. Balance. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. And there we go, he's dealt with the bomber. Good. This is what really limits the SB100, because, like, yeah, the later variants don't exactly benefit, but, like, I have a max, I have a fully spaded, pretty much maxed out crew in terms of gunnery and, like, um, weapon maintenance, and yet I was still struggling to put down a freaking Condor. It's just sad, really, because this, this aircraft used to be one of my favourites, and nowadays it just sits in my hangar to gather dust. I love how that guy is ignoring that P-36 to try and get an easy frag on a bomber. I bet that's an E. Yep, it's an E. Fucking called it. What a piece of shit. Oh, where are you? Yeah, fuck off. Ignores the fighter, goes for a bomber. Welcome to low tier. And now I've missed my bombing target, because I was going to go for those two tanks that were next to each other. We've taken a bit of damage from that guy. Yeah, there was a, there was a pair of tanks. Yeah, right, right there underneath my wing. It's just a question of turning, and if we can turn in time. But there's the bomb, so... If we hit with that bomb, it's gonna, it's gonna kill it, but... Uh, right on the poor sod's head. Let's do that. Here we go. Yeah, the, the right engine's not liking this at all, so we need to get back. But like I say, we're just extremely limited with this aircraft's capability. Because it, it's just not competitive nowadays. This thing is probably one of the least competitive bombers for nowadays. At least with a bomber like the SP2U3, like, I, I, don't, I think he just died doing nothing. But, you get the gist, like, you can play fighter in those. You can't anymore with these. This aircraft's just so limited because someone screamed cry havoc and let loose the dogs of nerf, like, seriously. Well, let's see if we can sneak up on this guy. And before anyone asks, yes, I know I reviewed the Chinese SB2M and gave it a good review, but that's because I liked it because of the engines. Just because it was a bad bomber, kind of not payload-wise, it could actually do pretty well. It it still had it still had character because of its design and all that. All right, come here, you little bastard. Yep, he's, he's clocked me, okay. But look, I, I can't turn onto him. Back in the day, I'd have been on his ass, but... 
Not nowadays. Oh, hello. Oh, where have you come from? You sneaky little bastard. This is kind of ironic because this would have happened during the Spanish Civil War. He's flashed a 1 and 9 one most of the time. Oh god. There is a little shit. And I ain't got the gun elevation. Said no whatever in a bomber like this. The thing is, is that even though the Fleagles is slow as balls, we can't actually outrun him. Especially with an engine on the right hand side about a crow kit, so. Come on, Ivan. Oh god, the lock up, the lock up, the lock up. If I get at least a kill, I'll be happy with this. Come on, you little bastard, die! Yes, burn it out, you little shit. Now he's going for my other engine. You little bastard! Yes! Zukovsky's Chaika came in to help at the last minute. Jesus fucking ballsack. I don't know how we're alive after that. Left engine's not going to be far behind, that's for definite. We need to get this thing on the ground ASAP. Whew! Jesus' ballsack, that was intense. But you can see, like, we was just struggling to put him down. If it was in that Catalina, I'd have put him down in a single burst, but nope. Not nowadays. One minute, my speakers appear to be buzzing. That's better. Oh, nearly flipped it there. Because, yes, if you apply the brakes too hard, it does flip. Just kill the engine. But you, you see, if I was in that Catalina, I'd have probably killed both the 1 and 9 that came for us earlier. And that Flegel's a lot quicker. But this thing is just not that good. So it can't do that. And our team wasn't exactly good. I mean, the CW has gotten one kill and he died. That's just a perfect example. Right, we could go for a... We could go and finish off one of the bases with the Catalina. I mean, we've got the speed to do it, but it's just a question of what we're fighting left. So we've got two bombers. Ayrton said I think was in a Doe-17Z. We've got that guy in a 109, and this guy here. Key 27. Oh no, sorry, it's a G50. But he's just gone down to a CR-714. Alright, let's get rolling. But you can... You can sort of understand, like... Why this aircraft is not very competitive, because... As I said, back in the day, this thing would have kicked anyone's head in. Pretty much, like... But then, of course, everyone was like, Oh, the SP bomber's OP, please nerf it. This thing didn't need a nerf. It was fun as fuck to fly this thing, and nowadays it flies like a fucking ass. You know, because I've been playing War Thunder so long, you just remember the old days, and... That's really what makes me sad, because... It's just one of those aircraft that... It used to be one of the kings of low tier. And nowadays, it's just... Not there. And the Chaika's trying to focus the bomber instead of the Key 27. Leave the bomber, he's, he's the least important. Key 27 can match your turns pretty much, so leave the fucking boomer and go. F I mean, yeah, you killed the boomer, but now you've got a Key 27 to deal with, which I'm probably gonna have to save your ass from. But you can see why I don't really fly these SPs anymore. I mean, look, this is maximum roll at these sorts of air speeds. Back in the day, you'd have been rolling three times as quick, but nope. And obviously the engines are very vulnerable, as we saw earlier. I mean, I nearly lost both engines and would have had to have gone full glider mode and Ivan would have had to start flapping his wings, but... Flapping his arms like a bloody wing, but... Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. That's that's the struggle, boss, but he's using it as a base bomb. I can't really blame him. Oh, boy. We're in a bit of a sticky situation because I really don't want to go near the struggle boss. And there's the... There's Ayrton Senna. 
And the Shaikh is now fleeing. Let's hope that Key 27 doesn't see us. So Catalina's coming to help me finish this base off. I've just got to hope Ace and Senna doesn't see me, because otherwise we're a bit fogged. Alright, we've got friendly tanks here. Have you seen me? No. Okay. I'm like Drax from flipping Guardians of the Galaxy. If I stand, if I fly long enough straight, I'll be invisible. Great film that was. And the Key 27 just kicked the Chiker's head in, for God's sake. So now it's down to me and the Catalina. Okay, my Drax trick hasn't worked. <laughs> oh god, I need to stop being a movie fan. Right, well... We're probably fucked. Because while the Dota 217, even though it flies like a freaking house, it still flies better than this thing. Guarantee you that. And it's got much better guns. Right, he's telling me about it. I think he's looking for the PBY. Oh god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I mean, at least we can kill a base and get the ticket bleed in our favour for the moment. Because at the moment, we're pretty even Steven. And I think the... Well, the Doe 217 has just killed that base. But me and the Catalina can kill these two bases here. So we'll do that now. And the Key 27 just went down. Perfect. Alright, 500 out. Come on, follow up. You're not even going that fast. Come on. There we go. And Ayrton Senna is intercepting the PBY. Balls. Big fat ball sack, okay. Um, I think we might have to go retro mode and try and intercept Ayrton Senna. Well, he's going to intercept me, but we're going to have to try and kill him. The problem is he has a 20mm MG151. I know what's going to win that argument. Alright. Ivan! Start shooting! I'll give you the perfect shot. Come on! Right, I'll fucking do it then, you lazy shit. Oh, oh! Oh god! Oh god, no, this has not gone well! Yeah, there is a problem on board, Ivan. You've got that right! This has backfired massively. Oh no! She's not pulling up now. Pull up! And this thing doesn't have self signaling tanks either, so we're fucked. Oh god, that's another fire. Well, at least one's out. But I know the second one ain't going out. Oh god, he's coming back down. Ivan, we're going in, buddy. Let's see if we can take him. Aim for that engine. Yes! It's okay, Ivan. I think we got him. Oh, are you fucking serious? His fire went out. Well, that's the end of that flight. I've certainly had better. But, we did what we could. Hopefully he might crash though, because... Why is he turning to the left on a dead engine? Because that, that, that is normally fatal. What's he doing? Is he flying okay? Or is he just flying drunk? Eh, oh, whatever. Right, well, that's the end of the SP2 M100 request. Oh my god. That, that was freaking... Oh, don't be a fucking talisman. That's the last thing I need. And it was back up, so I'll, I'll take it. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Well, that just proves exactly what the SP2 M is all about nowadays. Getting lucky, doing your job, and getting fucked over. That's pretty much how it is to fly these things nowadays. And that's sad, because these things used to be monsters back in the day. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys off. I hope you enjoyed part one of his request for the SB2M. And obviously, the next one will be the Mosquito. I'll see you all on the next one.